Hey, what's going on gang? Welcome to your 15th OAuth tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about how we can serialize and deserialize users. Sounds complex, but believe me, it is not. All right, so we're at this stage right here where we have our user now from our database, whether that's a new user or an existing user. And we want to tell the browser, look, this person is logged in. So if the browser makes another request, for example, to see their profile page, then that's fine. They can be authenticated easily. And the way we're going to do that is by taking an identifying piece of information from their profile, from their record in our database. And we're going to stuff that into a cookie. That cookie is going to be sent to the browser so that then when the browser sends another request for their profile page, for example, they're going to send that cookie. We receive it and we can say, hey, I know this cookie. That's this user. They're authenticated. So we're going to start the first bit of that process down here where we need to take a little bit of their information from their record and stuff that into the cookie. We don't need to take all of their record, for example, their username, their age if they had one, their hobbies if that was in their record. All we need is one piece of identifying information that we can use from their record. Does that make sense? Now then, you might be thinking, well, we've got this Google ID right here, let's use that. But I don't really want to use that because not everyone that signs up to our application is going to have a Google ID. Only people that log in or sign up with Google are going to have that property. Other people might have a Facebook ID or a GitHub ID, right? So we can't really use that. Instead, what we're going to do is use the ID that MongoDB created for us. Remember, when we created a new user, MongoDB automatically created an ID for that user, which was different from this profile ID, right? So they're all going to have that ID, every single person in our database, whether they signed up with Facebook, Google or GitHub. So we're going to use that ID from that record. Now then, to do this, we're going to use a couple of functions. The first one we're going to use is serialize user. This is the function that is going to take a piece of information from our record and then pass it on to stuff in a cookie, right? And the other one is deserialize user, which when the cookie comes back to us on the server, when a browser makes a request for the profile page, for example, we're going to receive that ID and we're going to deserialize it so that we can grab a user from that ID. Make sense? So they're the two functions we're going to use. So if you like, serialize is going to be kind of here and deserialize is going to be over here, right? When the cookie comes back to us. So we're going to create those two functions first of all. So up here, I'm going to create the serialize user function first of all, and this is stored on passport. So we'll say passport dot serialize. And I have to spell this correctly, serialize user. OK, so inside here, there's a function that we pass to it and it takes through a user and the second parameter is the done parameter. Now this we use to say when we're done, right? We've grabbed some information and now we're done. So down here, remember, we also had done as well. And we're going to come back to this in a second. So this callback function right here inside, and we need to add on that little arrow inside. What we want to do is take the user and we want to grab a piece of identifying information from that user. OK. And the way we can do that is by saying user.id. Remember, the ID property is created by MongoDB. So don't get this confused with the Google ID or the profile ID from Google. This is going to be when we pass this serialized user function a user. This is going to be that ID associated with that user on our database created by MongoDB, right? So we get that by saying user.id. We can just use dot id not dot underscore id which it looked like in the database just id so right now we can call the done method and we're going to pass in that id right there okay now the first parameter we need to pass through is null this is the error right so if there's an error we can pass it through here but i'm pretty certain that if we're passing along a user right here then there's not going to be an error because we have an ID on that user, right? So all we're doing now is saying, OK, we're calling done, right? And we're passing that done method, the user ID, the ID associated with that user on our database. So when this is called right here, it's going to pass it off somewhere else, the ID 
and we're going to stuff that ID into a cookie. Does that make sense? Right. So what we need to do down here, if we have a current user, is we need to say done. And basically done means, OK, go on to the next stage. And the next stage is going to be serializing that user, right? Once we have the user over here and we're passing through a user. So we already have the user retrieved from the database here. So we can pass that in like so. And also we pass through an error if there is one at the first stage as the first parameter right here. Now, again, I don't think there is going to be an error. I'm pretty certain there won't be. So I'm going to pass through null as the error. Now, we also need to call this done function down here when we create a new user. So I'll call it once we've saved it to the database, I'll say done. And I'll pass through null for the error. And also this time, the new user we've just created. So let me just walk you through this. When we retrieve the profile information from Google, we then come into this callback function and we're looking for a user with that profile ID, that Google ID inside our database. If it exists, we're grabbing that user. Then we're calling done and we're passing that user through to the done method, right? The same down here. If there's not that user, we're creating a new user in the database and we're calling the done method with that new user. So either way, we're calling done with a user record, our own user record for that person. So when this done method is called inside this passport callback, what it does is move on now to this serialize user method, right? So we're passing it a user in the done function down here, right? And then this serialize user method takes that user and it performs something, some kind of action on it. Now we're saying, okay, well, we're done in here because all we're going to send on to the next stage is the user ID. That's the bit of information that we want to jam into a cookie, right? So that's all there is to serializing user. We're taking a piece of information and we're calling done method and passing that user info into the done method. All right. So the next stage after that is going to be to cram that into a cookie and send it to the browser. So the browser knows who it is. And when it sends that cookie back, we know who it is, right? We're authenticating them using that piece of information. Now, when they come back to us, we need to take that ID and get a user from that ID. And that's what the deserialize user method is all about. So I'm just going to copy this because I'm super lazy and paste it down here. And this time it's called deserialize. So put a DE before it. And this time it doesn't take a user. It takes an ID because remember, we're only sending out the ID in the cookie. And when it comes back that cookie, we're just retrieving that ID from the cookie. So we retrieve an ID and now it's our job in here to get a user from that to see whose ID is this? The cookies come back with an ID, but who does that ID belong to? What's the user? So in here, we're going to say user dot find by ID, right? And we can use this method to find a user based on their user ID. That's the ID that MongoDB gives it. So we can pass in the ID right there that we retrieve uh, right here. Okay. Then because this is a asynchronous task, it returns a promise and we can use the dot there function on it. Inside we have a callback function, which is going to retrieve that user. So we're looking for this user in the database. It's going to retrieve that and pass it through to this callback function right here. And inside this callback function, we want to call the done method. So we'll copy it from there because now we have the user from the user ID, right? Makes sense. And we're passing the user then to the next stage. So dead quickly once again, inside the callback function right here in Passport, we're grabbing the current user or making a new user, then calling done and passing that user through to serialize user, whose job it is to take that user and grab some information from it so we can stuff it in a cookie. That's what this is doing. So it's grabbing that user and it's saying done. Okay, I'm going to pass you to the next stage and we'll come to that next stage in a minute. Then down here, we're saying, okay, Deserialize user when the cookie comes back to us from the browser, take the ID that's stored in it, and I want to find a user based on the ID. Then when I found it, I'm going to call done and I'm going to pass that user on to the next stage as well. All right. So we'll cover the next stages in the next tutorial.